Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? The official start of the spring season means one thing for NHS sports. The boys of the spring, also known as the softball team, are back and ready to get started. The team is filled with mostly returning varsity players due to only losing one senior last year. I decided to check in with seniors Jenna Subox and Abby Pilas to discuss their goals for their final season and the history behind their famous team motto, One Team, One Dream. It means that our whole team has one dream and we can only um, achieve, achieve it, it if we work together. together. Yeah. You're one team achieving one dream. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know where it originated. Our my captains dad just gave it to us. <laughs> no, my dad found it. Yeah, and just told us that was our motto. I think in our last season, we just, we hope to make it to playoffs, like make it as far as yeah. we can and like just have as much and fun as we can along the way. we hope to beat Minnetog. Beat Minnetog. <laughs> April 23rd and May 11th important date. Yes. We want to beat Minichog, <laughs> make playoffs, go as far as we can, and have fun. Also eager to get on the field this season is junior Marissa Batterini, who missed her sophomore season due to an ACL injury. I sat down with her to discuss her recovery process and what her goals are for her returning season. I tore my ACL in December, but I didn't get surgery until July, so that first month of recovery was essentially just like being able to straighten your leg and get the range of motion back and super simple exercises just to get that motion back. And then after I was more comfortable with that, I started to get into a little bit of strength stuff. And I would say that probably went on for like three months. And then after that, I started the jump program, which is essentially just like plyometrics and lateral movements. Well, I'd say my biggest goal is more of a team goal and that'd be to win Western Mass. The sport comes with a lot of athletic challenges and requires a deep understanding of the game. But an additional challenge for senior Ava Luna Santiago is playing with English being her second language. I sat down with her to discuss what motivated her to play and how she handles the challenge of learning both the game and the language. Because when I was later, my, my grandfather was playing softball, so yeah. He died and I wanted to play it too. <laughs> it was like really hard, know the rules and the directions the first year because I, I didn't know English and the instruction was like really hard because I don't understand. The softball team has their first game Monday, April 2nd here at NHS at 4 p.m. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. I'm Lulu Kesson. Well, having an experienced team <laughs> will um, help us because we've all been playing together for so long. So we know each other's yeah, having, capabilities. Yeah, having only <laughs> lost one senior, we don't have to like really try and get used to anything new. Like we've all been playing for so long, we're all comfortable with each other and like know how each other play. So that's definitely an advantage going into the season. Welcome to Hamped Up.